Hey everyone, welcome back. I just wanted to jump on very quickly, very, very quickly, and do a um, little bit of a Dollar General tips, I guess you would say. So I went shopping, and I had to just pick up one or two things at Dollar General, and there's a new to me one. Well, really not just new to me, but it is new down the road here from me, and I stopped in very quickly, and I got these bags, like... These things are bags. Let me tell you, they are bags. So I saw on the bottom, it says, please return to participating stores for recycling. Well, they're not getting it back because I'll reuse it. And then it has on the inside here to, you can reuse this bag up to 125 times. Now I had gone to a Dollar Tree Oh, I guess it was before Christmas, right, Graham? I think it was, a, and we had gone and we got a bag similar to this. And I said to my mother, these are like, you know, you pay a dollar for these really nice bags, but man, going to Aldi or Lidl's or BJ's, places like that, these, these are like, you can hear the noise on that, right? It is a good bag. So I got four bags of stuff. I didn't get much. I'll give you, this was in one of the bags. But here in New Jersey, we do not, we still have plastic bags. I know New York doesn't, I really don't know where else, but we have just recently converted to paper straws. And if you, some places like Chick-fil-A, thumbs up to you, they just automatically give you a paper straw. People like Panera drive me crazy. They don't give you a straw unless you ask for a straw. And half the time you pull away through drive through and don't even realize that there's no straw in your bag and then you're stuck. But anyway, plastic straws, I don't understand the whole concept in New Jersey. Like, it seems like they banned some and they didn't ban others. I don't know. We haven't had plastic bags yet. That was supposed to happen prior to the pandemic. And then they stopped all that because of the pandemic and you weren't allowed to bring your own bags anymore and you had to use their bags. So I don't know, but I'm sure it's coming to New Jersey. But if you go to Dollar General and they have the white bags versus their real thin plastic yellow bags that are a piece of junk, grab these. She asked me, would you like them? And I'm like, hello, yes. I can reuse these over and over. So I thought that was a really cool tip from Dollar General. Now, another tip, I got three tips for you. See this bottle of soda? This is 42.2 ounces, one quart, and 10.2 fluid ounces, or 1.25 liters. That's a decent size. You know, that's, you know, not your, your normal, I don't have a small soda bottle, but you know, the ones you get like at a vending machine, they were $2.59. So we splurged tonight and we went and got a calzone. This lady, long day, at work, needed a break, told my husband, I, I, we're breaking the budget, we're getting a calzone, which we did. So I had to stop at Dollar General anyway for allergy medicine, so I said, you know what, I'm going to get soda. $2.59 for a bottle of soda. Now, you can go to the Dollar Tree and you get it for a dollar. But I, I would say on the average, even a vending machine is probably about two fifty for a bottle of soda. Lo and behold, around the corner, you get probably three times the size, 99 cents. So be careful. Like if you're going for stuff like that, look around, see what your options are. So $2.59 for a little bottle of soda, not that, you know, normal small bottle of soda, like that you would get to take with your lunch versus something this size for 99 cents, which would be like three times the size. So check that out. Don't forget to, I guess this will be a fourth tip. I don't know what I did with my, do you see the receipt I had here? We got it hanging up. No, that's okay, honey. That's okay. Don't forget to get your receipt when you go to Dollar General because you get your $5 off coupon for Saturday. So that's always a good deal. And the other tip I have, I was talking with the lady at the register. She was the nicest lady. She's been there since the store opened. And she said, did you find everything you needed? And I said, yeah, I did pretty good. Thank you very much. I said, the only thing is I couldn't find tissues. Tons of toilet paper, tons of paper towels. 
and I'm looking around and I'm looking around. I couldn't find tissues. And then there was one section that was empty and I looked real, you know, on the little signs and it said something about tissues. So I said to her, do you have tissues somewhere else? And I'm thinking cold season, flu season, all that, you know, probably. And she said, it has nothing to do with that. She said, we haven't had tissues for three weeks. So I said, oh, you know, you hear all this stuff about shipping and, you know, shortages. She says, no, she said, I'll tell you. She used to also work at the Christmas tree shop and she now works at Dollar General. And I have heard this about other, um, how would you say it, cheaper stores that, you know, they, they get really good bargains on stuff. So places like Dollar General, Dollar Tree, Christmas tree shop, I can't, they're the ones in my area. What the ha what happens is they don't put in an order for, you know, five cases of tissues. They just get shipments. She says, oh, we get shipments every night. When I come in, there's plenty of boxes here. They get shipments every night, but they never know what's in the boxes. She says, we open a box and it's stuffed with this, that, and the next thing. So she said, there's no rhyme or reason. It's not like you order cases of tissues and cases of this and cases of that. She said, then what will happen is they'll get tons of tissues, like to the point where, and I've noticed that you'll go to a place like a dollar um, general or the Christmas tree shop or, or another kind of a discounted store. I shouldn't say a cheaper store, but maybe a discounted style store. And you'll go and they'll have rows and rows and rows and rows and rows of tissues and toilet paper or something like that. And I'm thinking, there's is there a run on this? What's going on here? There's, it's not like it's at a different price or a special price. And then other times you go, it'll be a run on, you know, they'll have this cleaner or something. And she says, that's what happens is they, like they send you a ton of something and Mod Podge stuff. And then you, the next time around, you get a ton of something else, but you don't have this. So, you know, I know there's a lot of shortages. I hear this, I don't know that. I have not seen that in my area, but I hear this from other people, but don't like panic over everything. Now that I've learned that some of these discounted stores, it's just their way of ordering supplies. They don't really order it. They, I don't know how they do it, but anyway, that was a very helpful tip that I didn't feel like this, oh no, there's no tissues. Now I can go to Walgreens and I got CVS right across the street and we have another Dollar General down the store. And I was at Dollar Tree the other night. I got four boxes of tissues. We're going to be okay. My son and I just have allergies and I like to keep them in the house. So I just wanted to share that with you. Get your nice, really sturdy bags at the Dollar General. At Dollar General. And they fold nice. Look at this. I can fold it. Right? Look at this. Stick that like right in the glove compartment, even carry one in my tote bag or my pocketbook. Excellent bags. Don't forget to check out the soda for only 99 cents versus $2.59. Make sure you have your coupon and don't panic when some of the shelves are empty. Just know the next shipment they get, they might get 550,000 Matchbox cars and they might not have any soda the next time. So she said it even happens with the frozen and the food section. They'll get milk and eggs and cheese and we'll have it galore, but they won't get a pizza. Who knew? Okay, just thought I'd share that with you. Catch you all on the next video.